Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Food with Dev. Last week, I made spring rolls, so I thought it would be right to follow that up with this rival, the egg roll. For me personally, I would pick spring rolls all day, every day. Comment down below on which one you like better. So after editing and watching this video many times, I wonder why it's called an egg roll even though none of the main ingredients require an egg. After a bit of research, some say it's because a wrapper contains eggs, but I looked at a few and none of it included eggs. Another theory said it's because the modern egg roll is a spin-off from a Chinese dish called dangan, which consists of chicken, ham, sprouts, mushrooms, all wrapped in a thin egg omelet. So literally an egg roll. These are only speculations, so you won't be satisfied with the direct answer, but you will be satisfied with this recipe. To get started, you'll need spring roll shells for the wrapper. It's called spring rolls, but you can use this for egg rolls. The name is interchangeable. You can find this in the frozen section at your local Asian grocery store. You'll need one pound of ground pork, one pound of shrimp, one pound of that like button, two sticks of peeled carrots, some pelled taro, someone needs spell check, half an onion, one cabbage, we we'll only need one fourth of it. For the seasoning, you'll need one tablespoon of mushroom seasoning. If you don't have this, you can use MSG or chicken stock powder. One tablespoon of sugar, half a tablespoon of salt, one third tablespoon of grounded black pepper, and one tablespoon of sesame oil. The first step to making egg rolls is to prepare the filling. We'll start with our vegetables. I'm using a grater to cut the carrots in the taro. If you don't have one, you can cut it with a knife. A grater is not necessary, but it does save a lot of time and effort. I highly recommend every kitchen to have one. Once they are cut into thinly slices, I'm going to transfer them into a bowl for later. Next, I'm going to work on the cabbage. Like I said earlier, we only need one fourth of the cabbage. I'm going to cut them into thinly slices like I did with the carrots and the taro. And last, I'm going to dice up the onion. Now that I'm done with the veggies, I'm going to work on the protein. Cutting the shrimp into small pieces, then adding it into a large bowl with the ground pork. Now onto our seasoning. We're at our 1 third tablespoon of black pepper, 1 tablespoon of sugar, half a tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of mushroom seasoning, one tablespoon of sesame oil. I'm also gonna add in the diced onions along with the carrots and taro strips. Then give it a light mix so it can soak in all the flavor. And while that sit for a bit, I'm gonna steam the cabbage for about four to five minutes. When it's done, I'm gonna put it into a bowl and extract as much water as I can from the cabbage. You want the filling to be dry so that it doesn't affect the egg roll shell. It'll get soggy and it'll break easily. Once all the cabbage is added to the mix, mix it thoroughly. It should have a very vibrant color. That's it for the filling. Now on to the wrapping part. Cut open the packaging of the spring roll shells. I highly recommend peeling each shell individually prior to wrapping and place it onto a plate. It's very sticky and will be tedious to do it one by one during wrapping. Before wrapping, I got a small bowl with just egg yolk. This is used as glue to hold everything together. The technique to wrapping it is to lay it diagonally onto a flat surface. Add a small spoonful of the filling and lay it out horizontally. About one third of the shell and one inch away from the edges. Fold the flap under the filling like so. Firmly roll it past the halfway point. Fold the side flap inwards and do the same on the other side. Roll it two more times and spread the egg yolk onto the top flap with your finger to seal it. Here it is again with a close up shot.
last step is to fry the egg rolls. In a large pan, add enough cooking oil so that the egg rolls can be completely submerged. When adding in the egg roll, you want the oil to be very hot so turn the stove setting to high heat. Once they are all in, turn the temperature to medium to low heat. I like mine slightly crispy and this is how it should look. Some people like it extra crispy like this. What I'm doing is draining all the oil before plating it. I also add a napkin on the plate so it can soak in the oil. And this is the end result. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. It allows more viewers to reach this video so they can learn how to make egg rolls. Thanks everybody, have a great day, and get cooking.